Yo, good morning, YouTube. Um, I'm pretty bloated right now. Probably because I had like two BJs last night, but I don't know. Um, traveling really fucked with me, and I stopped. I pretty much just stopped dieting when I like go traveling, but it's fine. Um, what did I gotta say? Oh yeah, so I'm gonna quickly go to the gym and do cardio, um, and then come back. Probably should have showered, but whatever. I think I can body shower when I come back. Um, then my mama is gonna drop me off at the airport. Um, I'm gonna, we're gonna leave here around eight ish, just because uh, the traffic and stuff to get there. But just pointing out the wrong right direction. But um. Yeah, so I'm just gonna do that a quick 45 minute cardio session and knock that out at least. Then when I land there, I'll do my lift. So, it's pretty good, pretty good plan. So, alright, that's what we're gonna do. See y'all in a bit. Alright, so change of plan. Yeah, change of plans. I'm actually just gonna finish getting everything together before I do anything. Um, which is what I've been doing. Get a little bit of work on the computer and getting everything that I need together so I'm not rushing at all. That's the game plan. I'll check you guys at the airport or in a car. I own a different mind. Brother, sisters come and go. What the fuck's a family bond? I just want to fly to anywhere but where we are. So take me away and take me higher. Take me far. Update. Made to the airport. We're gonna be editing a podcast now, and then when we land. I'll show you what happens. But yeah. Five hours later. Just landed in San Diego. Uh, gotta find a way to get the fuck out of here. But beautiful out here. It's like seven degrees. Oh, actually, I want to. I want to get this. Nice. Anyway, it's gotta get to the Airbnb and my phone's gonna die. But we're fucking here, baby. We're here. Just got to see a bunch of people from the military come home. But it's pretty dope. I have uh, two brothers in the military, so I always give a hell of respect when I see them come home and they're able to come home. We're grabbing our bags now from the baggage claim. Pretty dope. Oh, dog. But yeah, I'll grab my bag and I'll take you guys. I'll be either at the Airbnb or on the way there. And I got the gym bag first, still no sign of my real bag. God damn it. Got it. Didn't actually take that long, but now we gotta call Uber to get to the Airbnb. Let's go. Before my phone dies, let's find out. We made it. We made it. I left the camera in the bag, but. Uh, I left my camera in the bag, but. When it's in the back, but I'm recording some B roll on my iPhone, so you'll see it. But this is it, Lucky D's Hostel. This is where we're staying in beautiful downtown San Diego. This fucking nice as shit here. 74 degrees. I just like this year round too. It, it makes me like be like, damn, I, I could leave Chicago. I could leave it. <laughs> Alright, let's go inside this bitch. Oh, okay. That's cool. Oh, for sure. I vlog, so like, that's why I carry this camera around. But it's cool. So this is the view. There's like other people in this thing, but there's definitely someone down there. I have no idea who, I haven't met him yet. That's definitely the towel. But I'm gonna go 
Yeah, that's what she So, I think it's a dude. But anyways, we're in fucking San Diego. Um, if you guys didn't watch the other vlogs or you didn't know why, I'm here for a business conference with, um, I got invited by one of my mentors who just wanted to, one, meet me, and two, just wanted to really get my access to this event. You're gonna see it, it's on a rooftop, fifth floor of this one of these hotels, like a party, like a rooftop party, that kind of thing. Um, but that's what we're gonna do, go to this thing. The rooftop party starts at like six, I'm gonna try to meet up with like, I don't know, some other people before then, but right now I gotta charge my phone because it's dying. I'll probably get a little bit of work done. I'm gonna show you guys the hotel while this is charging. And then, yeah, let's see what else we can do. All right, so well, that's all charging and stuff. I have my wallet. I'm just gonna show you guys what this hostel looks like. It's fucking dope, by the way. So there's two rooms down here, and this is like, oh, this is a whole internet room. Dude, I'm gonna live in here. Wait, where's the light switch at? Well, I don't know where the light switch is, but it's gonna be dope. This is a fire fire escape. Oh, you can fucking totally come on the fire escape. I'm totally gonna do that at like three in the morning when no one's awake, but uh, yeah. Oh, they have a camera, never mind, maybe I won't. <laughs> this is it, dude, look, it's fucking crazy. If you guys ever come to San Diego, stay at Lucky D's Hostel, it's beautiful. They have this whole Maryland album. It's pretty lit, actually. So there's, there's four floors to this place. Um, each one is kind of like, I should just pick them fucking a single, I'm an idiot, whatever. I should ask. I have a question. Uh -huh. I fucking all this art. I love it. Beatles. So this is the fourth floor door. So you have to actually. This cool watch. It's like secret. Egyptian. Oh, what the fuck, dude? What's up, dude? Oh, shit. They have yeah. dead ass a whole kitchen in here. <laughs> this is all third floor shit. Reading room? Oh shit. Any good books though? All fiction stuff. Come back from this area. Another little room area. This, this is the third floor, right? So it's third floor. There's four floors. I'm on the fourth. I'm on the fourth floor. Oh, this bathroom's sick. I'm gonna shower and stuff here. But yeah. And then it's me. Anyways, oh, so much art. That's so fucking cool. Um, going down on the second floor. And I'm probably gonna stop at like CVS or some shit. My phone charges. They have a vending machine. But locks, that's what I need. I'm just vlogging. <laughs> don't, don't mind me. That's fucking so fucking sick. Bro, it's like an acid trip walking through these hallways. I love this place. I will stay here forever. Look at these hostels. Common room, like TV, if you want to just chill. They have a 360. 
people, I guess, leave their shoes to dry out. Oh, that's a room. That's fucking dope. Let's see. Volleyball, basketball, scooter. Dude, scent, like, it's places like this. It's like its own little culture. It's fucking awesome. I'm probably gonna put my food in here because not that much shit's in here, but I'm gonna go grocery shopping. And I'll cook. Hello. Excuse me. And then, another little room like mine. Anyone found past this point, we have to leave the hotel immediately. Uh, well, I can't go past you, but I can show you. I think it's dope. Like what, dude? This place has been here for I don't know how long. Another TV room. Let's go check it out. Peeps. Dude, this place is dope. We're chilling here, it looks like. All this art, though. Dude, they decorated these fucking... Dude, I want this. my fucking house to look like this. My apartment's... Dude, they got Boba Fett. They got Boba Fett. Bro. Ah, oh, dude, this place is fucking. <laughs> Here's Johnny. That's dope, bro. <sighs> dude, Lucky D's hostile. Airbnb hurt him apparently, but they're back better than ever. So that's pretty much all of this. The all floors. Um, first floor basically just walks you out. So I'm gonna go to CVS right now. How long have you guys been here? So come up, see the desk, you see when I come back up. All this art is fucking sick. So I'm just gonna vlog fucking the city now. So this is as you come down from Lucky D's. It's actually only been here, I just talked to the owner. It's only been here since September of last year. So all this, which is crazy. But Wings Wednesday, fish night taco, dollar drinks. It's, they have everything here, they have a kitchen, so. Um, Look at all this fucking art when you walk in though. Like, oh my god. My, my phone needs to get charged. So you guys can see this and everything else, but that's where I got the camera. So you walk out, this is it. Lucky D's. They said it was a blue door. Literally saw this. I was like, oh okay. But then there's also a fucking blue door over there. So a little confusing because there's two blue doors. But I mean, you deal with it. Anyways, I gotta go to CVS and uh what is it? One, get a monster. Two, get a little bit of like some groceries and shit. So I can cook. Because I'm going to stay within my macros here. I'm telling you. I'm drinking tonight, but I'm going to handle it. I'm going to handle it. Alright, so I don't know how accurate this is, but the guy said that there's a grocery down this way. I don't know if that actually is or not. We'll see. But look at all these fucking high rises. And they're still building more. We pass, I passed them on the way from the airport, but. They're building more. There's a Peco Stadium where like, let's see how you zoom in. Wrong way. Peco Stadium's down there. I don't have, I'm only using a Canon G7X guys. So this is literally what I used to vlog with. I need, I need to invest in a Canon DSLR or a Sony uh, something, but yeah. This is San Diego pretty much guys. It's fucking dope. All right, I'll see you at the grocery store if I can find it. So, because I don't have, oh, there's, an, oh, fuck, it's coming soon. Damn, I would have worked out perfectly. But because I don't have my phone, it's actually kind of cool just to unplug, kind of, because I have carrying around this camera. But um, I don't have directions because it's charging. So I'm going to just take a right, sit, take a right and take a left on G Street. We're on Island right now. So he said if you go down G Street, you'll get to a grocery. And that's what I'm trying to get to. So let's see. Damn. You guys know what I came here for. I gotta be in my gallon water shit. Always. Just stay hydrated. I have a bottle, but I'm still gonna get on. And then I need pre workouts, which, oh my god, they're out of White Monster. Ah! Whatever. I'll try the blue one. This one. I'll just get like, I don't know. We'll be here two days, so. I'll probably take this one as pre workout, and then this one for like tomorrow. Wait, tomorrow's Saturday and then Sunday. Yeah, no, I'm gonna need four. All right, so let me get, 
I really want a white one. You know, what? I'm gonna go to that other grocery store and see. Alex, get two here. All right. Oh, shot glasses. I think that's everything. So a lovely CVS person. Oh, they do have fucking scooters everywhere. That's dope. But a lovely CVS person told me that there's a grocery just like two blocks down this way. So we're gonna go to that. Then one's looking at me because I'm vlogging, but I don't really vlog. Alright, but just got a monster. Get a gallon of water. Let's go at actual groceries now. Food. Dream car and it's AMG. Oh, it's sexy. And we made it. We're at grocery outlet bargain market. This is the one that uh that guy told me about from the uh hostel. It says cheap. I mean, it's called the bargain market, so I already have some fucking shit, but I need extra groceries like proteins, so let's go. Hey, what's up, pigeon? So I fucking love this place. This is different and new, but I'm basically just, I'm just gonna get simple greens, keep the carbs simple, probably potatoes or some shit, but my bad. Alright. Do they have mission tacos? Even at this organic grocery, they still have fucking Halo Top. Just birthday cake, but still, I still have it. All right, so even here, I'm staying dedicated. I got groceries, but they have a kitchen, so I'm gonna definitely fucking cook when I get back because I'm starving. Um, I have like tortillas and shit. What's we gonna do? I'll show you when we get back. So cooking this chicken up. Have like tortillas and shit, I'm gonna throw this in here. I'm probably gonna have like a salad or some shit before I go to the gym. And then we got the pool party, so let's do that. Up. I vlog, just ignore me. I talk to the camera a lot. I do like, I, I'm trying to be like a fitness YouTuber. Oh, funny. Yeah. But I also just do like, I show a lot of business shit, so. Yeah, yeah. Business yeah. stuff? Yeah, I do digital marketing for medical practices. Okay. Um, and then I sell online coaching for like, people who want to get in shape. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> now you know. <laughs> Pretty much that's me, my whole story. <laughs> I made, wait, yeah, eight ounces of chicken and a little fucking salad, so. That's like the first meal of the whole day. We'll see what happens. So again, Lucky D's, cook your own food, bring your own shit. They have fucking Drake on a fucking iPad. There you go. And you just put your shit in the fridge. Label it though. Alright, we're gonna hit a workout. I have to go to the gym. But apparently in San Diego, if you go to this app called Bird, It'll show it. You can rent these little scooters for a dollar and you can just ride these bitches around. So I'm gonna ride this shit to the gym. I'll show you guys, see you guys there. I'll see if I could actually do some stuff. But yeah, actually what the plan is, so I'll see you at the gym. Cause I don't wanna drop this thing while riding. All right, so we made it. I'm not gonna film the workout just cause I'm pressed for time. But I'll try to get some clips or some shit. But um, yeah. Yo, yo, yo. Um, all right, so. What's up? I'm just going to actually put a quick commentary over this workout. Uh, so I decided to actually go ahead and film it. Uh, just a couple sets uh, of every exercise. So I started out with this uh, hoist slap pull down machine. Uh, I actually love this machine. So I apologize because the angle is a little bad, but uh, again, I was in a rush. But uh, really love this machine. So uh, as I'm pulling back, I'm trying to keep my chest high and really retract my scapula, feeling it come back together every time. Uh, but I like it, one, because... The machine actually, as you can see, my feet are moving with it. That's the whole point of the the hoist machines. And the, I love the whole brand and the whole company themselves. One of the gyms by me, uh, Export, has it. Uh, but also the handles are pretty thick. So you actually get a pretty good uh, pump and just like good grip with it. So it really helps if uh, someone has like weaker grip strength, which I'm working on. Um, I'm putting a lot of more emphasis on like the functionality of my training versus something that would just be for a purely aesthetic and vanity uh, standpoint. Um, I really, really, really want to be able to do flag pulls, so I've been doing a lot of core work. But other than that, we're just going to go on to the next exercise. So I, I, they actually had these two machines right next to each other. So they had the hoist slap pull down machine, and this is the hoist rower. So I went from the lap pull down to the rower. Um, again, keeping my chest high. Uh, I started with a neutral grip, and then I actually uh, supinated my hands to um, 
horizontally as I went. So again, trying to squeeze your, your scapula together, really, really feel the contraction. Uh, with this, uh, if you're pulling low, and what I mean you're keeping your elbow tight against you, you're going to get a lot more uh, lower lat than if you let your elbow flare out, you get a lot more rhomboid. Uh, I have a uh, weaker rhomboid, so I try to kind of do half and half as far as the rep ranges. So I guess I actually forgot that this was a uh, back and chest workout. So uh, I went on and went ahead to an incline uh, hammer strength machine. Uh, this was had, I think I did two plates starting and then I had to lower it to 185 for the remaining sets just to make sure I got through everything. However, uh, that is what I went and got. So going on to this, again, making sure you're keeping your scapula retracted against the bench even when you're going up. And this was a super set with a push up. So by keeping the scapula retracted, you're kind of only activating your chest. You're not getting a lot of anterior deltoid movement in there. Um, but yeah, this was just with the AMRAP burnout uh, with a push up super set. So I'm pretty much am just uh, truly trying to incorporate more functional strength stuff into my training. Uh, so a lot more body weight. Uh, I'm going to be filming and doing a lot more workouts like that. And you'll be seeing it. Uh, I'm, put, I'm, I'm making a program right now that's going to be completely focused. It's going to be just the, a revamped athletic return program. Uh, if any of you are interested, those are up on my website uh, at vcastcoach.com. But I'll also be putting it as part of a cheaper upsell. Um, as a really good deal for you guys to go get. Uh, my Instagram, if you download the free ebook, it's going to be on there. So, uh, going to the next exercise, went with a wide grip uh, pull up, body weight. So, again, uh, I, you might notice I have a slight impingement on my left hand side. So, it actually, oh, these are sloppy. Jeez, Vince. Uh, but <laughs> you'll actually notice that I have a, a impingement on my left hand side, which kind of I've been trying to work around with for the past six to eight months but other than that feeling pretty well damn i was kipping but yeah so burnout uh super set that with a uh seated cable row uh and that was just for reps again so these are just hypertrophy movements but yeah uh just gonna go ahead and let the rest of the workout play uh i don't think there's really that much left but thank you all for listening and now back to the video Alright, so event starts at 6. I have to either I'm gonna take this bike or find another scooter, get back to the hotel, shower change. It's gonna be a fast one. I'll see you back. And we're back at the room. Made it, I don't know what time it is, it's about 10 minutes till when the event starts. So I'm gonna go back outside, ride my scooter there, which is awesome. Um, post or pre pre. pre Rooftop party for Zeke. So that's what we're dealing with. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna wear shorts and like a like a button shirt, which is like here. I don't really know what to expect from this, so I'm just gonna wear like something casual but like laid back, you know? I don't know. Um, like a Biza, a Biza. But yeah, that's what we're gonna do. I'm probably not gonna take this camera with me just because I don't know what the situation. Battery died, but I have another one. I don't know what the situation is gonna be with, as far as with taking access up there, or if the hotel let me, so I'm not gonna take it. If anything, I'll just record some clips on my phone. Or you can watch it on my Instagram, at Vcast Coach, at uh, Vcast Consulting. Um, might throw something on my personal, I don't know. Or on my Snapchat. So, that's what we're gonna do. I'll see you guys when I come back, whenever I pick up this camera next. Peace. That's crazy.
Good morning, peeps. It is the next day, Saturday. I don't know what day it is, but I'm leaving the hostel to go do cardio. And yeah, that's the game plan. So I'm gonna do it for 45 minutes. I just did hit yesterday. Um, I did a rower, and then coming from the rower, I'm gonna just do like lifts right now. So probably on the stairs or something. But I want to actually go to the gym. So I'll see you at the gym. And these are the things, dude. These things, these birds, fly. Like, fly. At least go like 20 miles an hour. It's fucking awesome. That's how I get around. And they're only a dollar to use. So I could trip, like, takes me like 10 minutes. It's like, what is it? Like, $3. It's fucking awesome. Awesome. Done. Now, and when I get out from the tech or conference, expo, um, I'm sweaty. Sorry. Uh, gonna be going to get a lift in. Today's gonna be legs. Legs. Today's gonna be legs. So, gonna kill it. Let's have a dope day. Unfortunately, I'm not gonna be able to bring you guys with me to the conference just because um, it's paid. So, uh, a lot of it is info that is, isn't openly shared. So, I'm not gonna be able to bring you guys with. So, I'll just see you guys after the conference. I'll probably be pretty fucking pumped. Okay, so I'm gonna go to the conference right now. First couple of clips on my phone. No, I'm recording. Sorry. You're good, you're good, Thomas. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Wanna be on a vlog? Do you mind? Do you wanna be on a vlog? So this, these are my bunk mates, Thomas. What's your name, actually? I never got your name. Jelly. Jelly? Vince, nice to meet you. Or Vicente, that's my actual name. But, okay. um, yeah. <laughs> They're from Spain. Um, yeah, we just, and Phillip's here too, but he's not here right now, but he's from Philadelphia. Uh, anyways, I recorded the first couple clips this morning when I went to go do cardio on my phone because I left my camera here But I can't take this with me because I'm not supposed to record during the event. So I'll just see you guys after I just got here at the event It's about to start I'm not going to be able to show you much after this we'll see. Wow, okay, so picking it up again um, I'm just going to combine the two days that the actual event is but Like wow, just wow the amount of value that it was just given to me and this like makes you think, right? Like I'm here in beautiful San Diego, there's a bunch of shit going on side. I'm probably gonna go hit a quick leg workout because I haven't worked out yet and you know I gotta hit my workout. Um, I only did cardio in the morning, but I gotta get a lift in. Just gonna hit like a quick leg workout. I'm, not, I'm probably not gonna squat. Probably gonna squat when I get back home. But um, it's just crazy to think like, I'm just nuts, man. Uh, Really love the like the value that was given to me. I'm saying it again. Jay Abraham is a monster. Like the guy always makes you think outside the box, and that's I, I, something I always like to say for Vcast Consulting is think outside the box. But honestly, I think after going through this event, I think I'm just gonna leave that alone and just go all in on, on Vcast Coach, I'm putting out content for you guys, and uh, really expand upon what I offer. You know, really give you guys back the value that you guys deserve, and that. I've just been trying to give since the beginning, so really gonna try to just hone in on, on what I want to do, what I want, who's my who's my ideal customer, like what value and who am I trying to change, how am I trying to change it? You guys, I didn't show you, but I actually went to the kitchen and cooked like the rest of the chicken I had, so meal prep good. Um, yeah, man, it's fucking nuts. They had these fucking energy drink things there that were pretty fire, to be honest, um, but they kind of hurt your stomach after a little bit because they have so much stevia extract in it. But I'm gonna go hit quick leg workout. I'm probably gonna end up going north to San Diego to go visit one of my friends from uh, from that I haven't seen since like high school for a couple years in the Navy. But I'm gonna go work out first and then hit him up and see what's up. Uh, if not, no biggie. I have to be up at I have to be at the event again at 8:30 tomorrow for the second time. So it's the last day too. So I'm gonna enjoy it. Nice man. Beautiful San Diego. I'm gonna have to come back just like for pleasure. Uh, but yeah. It's beautiful out here. It's beautiful. I see you guys at the gym. All right, so made it. Uh, I'm not gonna film it, but I'm just gonna show you guys what I'm doing. It's uh, there you go. That's what I'm doing. Walking lunges, leg extension, leg curl, hack squat, calf. Real quick. I'll see you guys back at the hotel. Yo, 
Alright, so it's the next day. I didn't film an ending to the last night's video. Um, I literally just forgot to do it, but um, it's now Sunday. It's the last day of the conference. Really looking forward to getting as much value as I can out of this thing. Met some really amazing people here. And yeah, I mean, that's what we're gonna do. So, yeah, um, going forward, definitely have a lot of stuff I have there still. And a lot of stuff that I'm gonna figure out as well as implement into VCAS Coach. I think I'm gonna make that the main thing. Just niche down, get one single item, one process, and yeah, just do that. But, um, yeah, that's what we're gonna do, all right? So, hope everyone enjoys this video, even though like, you can't really see the conference. Um, I'm gonna bring you with me this time, because I'm just gonna put you in my bag. But, I don't know how much I'll actually be able to record, so. Peace. Yo, so at the event, um, this is what it looks like on the inside. Quick sneak peek for all y'all. But, uh, and about like the halfway time, like half time during the second day, so I wanted to quickly record something for you guys, but so much fucking lessons learned. Uh, follow everyone who uh, I posted on my Instagram story or anything on, uh, on social, it's fucking dope. But, uh, yeah. Uh, try man, I want to introduce you to the vlog. This is Nick. What's up? He's, How you doing? He's be, we'll say what you're doing. I'm the head of the Upgraded Man Project. I specialize in gut health, optimization, performance, and fitness. Yeah. Yeah. My name is Darren Chem, do public speaking, podcaster to Killer Strength. Where can they find you? Oh, you guys can find me in San Diego or um, San Diego. <laughs> or on Facebook or Instagram. Facebook, Darian Chem, D A R I A N. And on Instagram, Darian B Chem, not the B E, D A R I A N B C H E M. Alright. Awesome, man. So, we're going to get started again. I forgot to turn this off, but I'll see you guys in a bit. Wow. Honestly, that was a truly powerful event. And I met so many great, I like my entrepreneurs and just networked with so many people that I'm like fired the fuck up for like what I can do. And I don't have a lot of time to talk right now because my flight's supposed to leave at 10.30 and it's like 9, 9.05 right now. So I have to finish packing all this shit up and then get to the airport. Um, but just wanna say for those of you who aren't in a supportive group like I am with BDB, uh, really just, Find like-minded people who you can assimilate with and will help you, promote you, support you in whatever the fuck you want to do. Go and surround yourself with those people and you'll find that you'll have so much success as far as how and where you want to go. And it's, it's hard to sacrifice something, especially with entrepreneurship, of trying to do everything on your own and know that when you find that support group and actually get to where you need to go as far as putting yourself in front of the right people, do you'll find doors will just open for you. And that's really the whole point of like networking and being a part of support groups and anything of being surrounded by like-minded people. You're the average of the five people who you hang around with the most. So if you hang around with losers, you're gonna be an average of those losers. If you hang around winners and people who are better than you, then goddamn it, you're gonna be better. So make sure you do that. I'm gonna catch you guys up at the airport when I'm leaving in the, in the Uber or something, but hell of a weekend. This weekend vlog's gonna be probably like compiled of random clips of before and after the event, but so much that I've learned and this I can implement right now. There's already two things I want to want to implement: referral and viral testing. And this gonna just give, give more value to you guys for people who want to be my online coaching clients. And I, my whole point is just my mission is to just make your guys' lives ten times better. And know, let you know that what I've learned is that there, you can do anything. Literally, once you get in that groove and that zone of what you feel like you can do, you can do fucking anything. So make sure you go out there and do it. I'll catch you guys later a little bit. Oh. So a little update. Um, not gonna be leaving tonight. Uh, my flight got delayed until 8 a.m. tomorrow, so I won't be going back, um, getting back home to Chicago until around uh, 1.35, 1.30 tomorrow morning. So I'm still at the hostel. Hostel, met two Londoners. I love their accent so much. Um, this hostel is amazing. If you ever get a chance to stay in a hostel, do it. It's dope as fuck. You meet a lot of cool ass people. Um, but yeah, right now I'm just gonna transfer some footage over from this camera to my computer so I can edit it. Um, I'm probably gonna get up pretty early tomorrow. 
because I have to be at the airport. If it actually does take off at eight, I want to be up in there at like seven, maybe even earlier. I'm just gonna basically wake up, brush my teeth, and go. So, I do have a monster for them all. Just give me no some caffeinated, but it's a blue one. I wanted to actually, I was gonna be kind of bummed if I uh, had to throw that away, so I'm glad I don't have to. But, dude, learn so much. I have a couple mentors extra now, which is amazing. Um, thank you, George. Also, um, Juiced, you're incredible. For those of you who don't know, uh, Juice Jansen, he's at Navy SEAL. Incredible man, but yeah, man, just that's what it's about is just reaching out, networking, finding people who are like minded, like I mentioned before. I have a book to read on the plane right back. I'm actually going to be rereading it um, for our work week just to kind of get, you know, reminders because I honestly don't really remember. But I get the gist of it. It's more about like automating and kind of deloading your work. Um, and then we went over. The, we went over this with Chris Chaffer, and we was talking about different levels of of um, the billionaire steps, the billionaire code. Um, I'll have to go over it more in detail. Definitely detailed podcast and or a vlog about it. But for right now, I'm just gonna start editing. Uh, it's about San Diego time, about 10:45. So probably edit for like I don't know, just transfer stuff over. But I'll see you guys in the morning at the airport.